Hey guys, Wade here. Hey, uh, I had to do a makeshift tripod because mine is packed up and down in North Carolina. But I wanted to go over the Centroid Acorn board that's going to power the CNC systems. I'll have one of these for my mill and then I'll have another one for the lathe. And again, the if you've been reading my blog, you'll know that I've stated that the mill is the priority. Once I get the mill up and running, as far as the milling machine, then I will uh, focus on the lathe. And again, I'm not trying to do anything uber creative or uh, get crazy. Uh, this is all focused as far as getting parts that are uh, a fair number of parts um, machined and created for the airplane and uh, so that's really what the big push is about so um, I've kind of had some downtime between weather and then traveling uh, as far as um, not flying for my instrument reading which I will be picking that up here in the next few days so this will be the last kind of uh, a major discussion I'll have probably on CNC for a while but I wanted to do a, a quick video. Okay, so this is the main board for the Acorn CNC. Uh, it uses a BeagleBone green backboard uh, as far as the, the uh, main, uh, the actual computing power of the board. Um, it's, I'm not gonna go over all the different details on the board. You could easily look that up on the Centroid CNC software. It will uh, support four axis, uh, or four different motors for four axis uh, on a milling machine. Um, and you basically have the power input, and then uh, you have different accessory inputs here. Then you have the um, you have uh, the outputs to the motors, um, and then you have uh, the the auxiliary outputs as far as these are a couple relays then I have a relay board here this used to be a um, that was uh, an extra that you had to buy as far as um, if you're gonna buy this system and then you'd have to buy this separately I went ahead and disconnected it this is a 5 volt lead to uh, this relay breakout board and as you can see you have eight relays on here so that's pretty cool that they now include that also uh, for me watching the slightly older videos on how to hook all this stuff up if you kind of what I'm doing here with this video if you watched anybody hooking this up you would see them take an older 24 volt only again this has a 5 volt uh, port now which is pretty cool so this is mainly 24 volt with one 5 volt port it uses 110 volts in it can do 220 uh, if you want and then these were all separately wired I mean you had to put all these wires on and then you had to put uh, you know this these wires went in here individually into this port as far as the uh, connection for the power but uh, this came just like this all wired up so that's pretty cool so as far as getting the power correct you just plug this in here and then you're pretty much done as far as the power so I'm gonna leave that right like that for now and then this is the way as far as this cat 5 shielded patch cord and you can tell it's shielded because of the metal around it it has to be shielded but that will plug in here and then this uh, will plug into the computer and then the, that's how you control the CNC so I have all the power connections to the acorn board to the 24 volt power supply and then I'm ready to plug in the 110 volt cord over here as you can see I have my computer which is a used Lenovo touchscreen computer that I picked up off of eBay I've already configured it 
exactly the way that Acorn wants you to configure it. So there's uh, a fairly uh, a decently long process, I would say, as far as configuring the computer and getting it set up to run CNC. And it's meant to be a CNC specific computer. I did want to specify that I am using the schematics as per Acorn. They do have a, a, a vast library of different schematics. They're very thorough, makes it fairly easy to hook up whatever you're hooking up at a specific time. Right now, this is just the basic power and communications connections and I'm going to be setting up for the bench test. So that's the schematics. I just printed it off. Uh, had it sitting over here off to the side to reference. And again, with the way they have this pre-wired, it's pretty easy now. So I'm going to step over to the other side of the camera and plug this in. You can see by this light right here, the LED light, that this is powered on as far as the power supply. And then if we look here, the blue light to the left of the Cat5 cable port, the Ethernet port, that means power is going to the board. You can also see a green light right there, an LED. But this light right here is probably the most important and that's what we're looking for right now. That one blink per second, that tells us that the brains, the beagle bone uh, green board, it's communicating and it's powering up, doing all its magic. So I'm gonna start out by hooking this Cat5 Ethernet cable into here. My computer is off. I'm going to plug this in to the side. And again, this is a new computer, so bear with me. So we have that connected. So with this on, this is good to go. I can now open up my computer and now I can fire this up and you can see there's some discussion going on right there we also now have a um, green light and a yellow light on each side that says that the computer and the Acorn CNC board are uh, talking to each other so now I'm going to load up the software Okay, so I have the mill CNC control configuration window up. The wizard is uh, is up here. I'm going to close this out, but first I'm on the bench test, which is where I'm supposed to be. It just kind of normalizes everything out since I don't have any motors hooked up to this uh, system yet. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to write settings to CNC control configuration. I'm going to hit yes. And then that means the settings are saved. So that's it for the CNC control configuration wizard. I can get out of here and then I can go over and start CNC 12 mil. Now this is set up for the mill. Uh, there would be another program for the lathe when I get ready to do the lathe. So I'm going to start this up. It's initializing the MPU. Uh, Under all the videos that I've seen, it tells you not to uh, turn off the acorn at any time. And uh, so that's what it was telling me to do. So I had to do a little bit of research and it looks like everything is good. I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to mess anything up. Let me move this over like this. So this is the CNC12 software. As you can see, it says reset, cleared, emergency stop. Now this is touch screen and, and this is over here, you have the, uh, the virtual machine control and you have the DRO right over here. So I'm going to press this to reset. You can see reset initiated, press reset to clear. So 
Uh, that's working right there, so that's good. Um, and I'm looking in this these blocks right here. I'll try this one more time just so you see. The reset initiated, press reset to clear. That's good. And then it says warning machine home not set. Now again, this isn't connected to any motors. Sorry about that, my phone was full up. So I had to download the video. But I hit this button right here and uh, to the cycle start button and it homed out all the different axes. The reason why the DRO is set on these weird settings right here is I ran this job right here, flange.cnc. Uh, you have an, an increment and a continuous. Right now it's on continuous to jog these different axes, as you can see here. So X plus, X minus, that would of course be the table, left and right. I can also, uh, there's a turtle and there's a rabbit here. I can do these a lot faster, slower for on the motors. And then uh, of course Y minus, Y plus. Then I can hit increment and I can go times 1, times 10, times 100. And these are uh, you know, the different, um, you know, hundred thousands, ten thousands, and all that. And then it'll just decrement it. You'll see here if we go X. So we're doing it at this decimal point or this position right here. So, and then the same thing for the Y going up. We could switch that. So you can see you can dial this in pretty good. Z is over here. All this is telling us is that this CNC12 software on this computer, which Acorn calls the CNC PC, the software as far as CNC12, the computer, and the Acorn board as far as the interface, this bench test is good to go right now. And so now I can proceed to the next step, which is actually hooking up the motors and, and, uh, and testing out the, the motors. So just wanted to show you this and that's it. And I'm gonna shut her down. Thanks for watching. Take care, cheers.